The following presentation of the Monty Mans Meditorials is brought to you by Kurt and Debbie Palmer, Roger McDermott and KHLT Recovery Broadcasting. To subscribe to this as well as any of our recovery shows, visit our website at take12radio.com. And now, here's the Monty Man with this week's Meditorial. Greetings, my friends. I am your host, the Monty Man, on this episode of the Monty Man's Meditorials. Listen, we are uh, embarking on stupid thing number 12 that'll mess up recovery. We've been reading over the last several weeks excerpts from the book, 12 Stupid Things That Mess Up Recovery, by our good friend, Dr. Alan Berger. And we're going to conclude this week with this one. This is this 12th stupid thing using the program to handle everything. That's the 12th stupid thing that messes up recovery. So, listen, I'm going to add some of my uh, thoughts here as well. Um, but beginning with Dr. Allen Berger's statement here, Harry Talbot, MD, a psychiatrist who was befriended by AA shortly after its conception, described what he called a defiant self-reliance in the personalities of the alcoholics that he treated. Dr. Berger says that I, too, have seen this in my clinical experience. I think of it as an over-determined independence. We don't want to need anyone. We despise dependency, and we therefore deny any part of ourselves in our life that isn't totally self-sufficient. This defiant independence creates an over-reliance on self. We rely exclusively on ourselves for solutions, and most of the time, this presents a serious problem. Doesn't it, though? Really, think about it, my friends. When, when we try to solve all of our issues by using our 12-step recovery program, we may be denying ourselves the need to get outside help. We may be denying ourselves the need to see a therapist or to talk with a member of the clergy or get some spiritual guidance outside of the 12-step rooms, you know? Uh, one thing is for certain. If we continue to honor our false pride, that's that, that part of ourself that says we can be completely self-sufficient, right? It will hamper and ultimately sabotage our recovery. Listen, while using, we ignored our limitations and we were unable to ask for help. In recovery, we do just the opposite. We acknowledge and respect our limitations and identify our blind spots rather than ignore and deny them. Listen, no one can handle every personal issue with their program. Needing help is not an indication that something is wrong with your program. The truth is quite the contrary. Recognizing our need for additional help is an indication that we are working a good program. Stupid thing number 12, using the program to handle everything. Yeah, it's something that, uh, well, more of us than would like to admit have fallen into. Listen, I want to give a special thank you and special recognition to our good friend, Dr. Alan Berger. Now, Dr. Berger has been supportive of Take 12 Recovery Radio for many, many years, and he is a dear friend of mine. Would you please visit his website at abphd.com. Listen, you can, you can order CDs, DVDs, you can listen to his podcast. Uh, he and Tom Rutledge are part of our podcast network. You can visit our website at take12radio.com and click on our podcast network banner and listen to their podcast on emotional sobriety. You can get all of his books at his website, abphd.com. You can also get them on Amazon as well. Now, most recently, Dr. Berger has written a new book called 12 Essential Insights for Emotional Sobriety, Getting Your Recovery Unstuck. And I highly recommend this book. This is one of those books that once you read it, you'll start highlighting it. You'll start sharing it with other people. 
it will amaze you on how you can apply and implement the principles in this book with your recovery program. You really need to get a copy of this. Also available is 12 Stupid Things That Mess Up Recovery, as well as 12 More Stupid Things That Mess Up Recovery, uh, and many other books as well. ABPhD.com. All right. Until our next broadcast, this is the Monty Man, and I am wishing God's perfect serenity for you. This has been a broadcast of KHLT Recovery Broadcasting and the Take 12 Recovery Radio Shows.